Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to create a discrete probability distribution using Excel. Uh, so in order to create a discrete probability distribution, you have to have some values for X and frequencies. So for this one, what I have for my values are the siblings, um, which represent my variable, random variable X, are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we pulled some people to see what the frequency was. And my frequency is 25, 86, 70, 49, 12, and 8. Okay, for this, in order to be a probability distribution, all of our individual probabilities have to be between 0 and 1. 0 means that there's a 0 frequency, and 1 means that 100% of the values fall at that point. And then the sum of our probabilities also have to equal 1. So in order for this to be a probability distribution, these two conditions must be met. Okay, um, so the probability of x is calculated by the frequency divided by the sum of all the frequencies. So our first step when creating this is going to be to find the sum of the frequencies. Okay, and then we're going to take each of these individual values and divide it by the sum of the frequency. So the probability for the first one would be 25 divided by the sum, 86 divided by the, by the sum, etc. So let me go ahead and pull up Excel. I already have entered this data in there. So in Excel, you would just create a chart and you would fill in your data. So I have my siblings are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My frequencies are 25, 86, 70, 49, 12, and 8. And so my first step, as I said before, is to find the sum of your frequencies. So I'm just going to highlight the values that I want to find the sum of and I end up with 250. And then to fill in the probability category, we're just going to do equals. I'm gonna select the first frequency, which is cell B2, and I'm gonna divide it by 250. I could select this cell down here, but then I have to put dollar signs around the column and row number in order to keep it from changing. So if I just type in the 250, it makes it easier. That way it doesn't change when I drag down my formulas. So I could retype the same formula for each of the following, um, but in the 2016 Excel, they make it very easy that you're able to just drag it down and it will auto populate. Notice when I click on it, it says that I'm gonna do B3 divided by 250. It just continued the formula down through the end of the column. Okay, so remember our two checks is each of these values have to be between zero and one. So we can see that all of these values fall somewhere between zero and one. And then we just need to check to make sure the sum of these values equals one. And it does, so this is a probability distribution. Okay, so then all you would have to do is enter these values into your chart or your homework. So if you were doing this on homework, you would just have to fill in these values. So this one is 0.10. 0.344 and just round to whatever decimal place that they tell you to. Um, typically it's three or four decimal places, but every single homework platform is different and also different textbooks, different teachers have different criteria. I typically go three as the minimum or four decimal places to be a little more precise. Um, but again, just pay attention to your directions as to what to round them to. Using Excel makes this very easy, so I don't have to individually type all of these values into my calculator. And I can just quickly find the sum and then use the formula. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.